Well, hello once again. We're Connie and Paul. We're coming to you live on tape from the set of the Miramichi Kitchen Party mm -hmm. here at Saltwater Sounds in Miramichi, New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, it's a brilliant Sunday afternoon here, a nice summer afternoon, just uh, getting ready for Canada Day coming up on, uh, on Wednesday. And uh, I hope you've all had a good week. Uh, and I know that uh, there's uh, Canada in general has been very good when it comes to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we're, we're, still, uh, we're still fighting the battle and that's great and here in New Brunswick. Uh, actually in another week, Atlantic Canada will form their own bubble here so we'll be able to travel around a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see some of you here at Saltwater Sounds um, in Miramichi. But in the meantime, uh, we're going to continue doing our little mini concerts here this afternoon. Uh, by the way, I uh, want to give you a little bit of statistics. Even Connie doesn't know this yet. Uh, we're still seeing people from right around the world uh, view our, uh, our videos here and we want to thank you very much for that. Um, all of our videos have about 3,000 views and one of the statistics that uh, you, can, uh, you can get out of uh, YouTube is that it tells you the total length of time that your videos have been played. So uh, all 10 of our videos, this is number 11 here today, all 10 of our, our videos have been played for a total of 216 hours. Okay. Uh, now that works out to just a little over eight days if somebody was sitting and listening to just <laughs> our videos all the time. Uh, nice to see that people leave, lead exciting lives. Uh, but thank you very much for your support. That reminds me of the lady that got the, uh, the, the tape stuck in her. <laughs> oh yes, 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 years ago when we released our first album back in 1992. <coughs> only on cassette. Uh, it was only on cassette <laughs> and a lady had purchased one and got a hold of us wanted to get a replacement because they were driving to Ontario and it got stuck in the tape player and that's the only thing that they have played <laughs> from St. John, New Brunswick to I think Toronto or Hamilton, <laughs> Ontario and back. Uh, so they want, it, they sort of wore it out a little bit. Yeah, she but, said it was a good thing that she liked it. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, today's going to be a little bit of a different day. We're going to do some cover tunes for you, but we're going to do some movie cover tunes for you. Each one of the songs that we've, uh, that we've chosen for today has been featured in a movie. Um, not your normal uh, ones either. Um, the, uh, you may be familiar with some of the songs that we're going to do and, and you might not be so familiar with some of the others. The first one that was, we're going to do is a song by Randy Newman. Uh, he actually wrote it for a Broadway musical uh, called Faust, but it was featured in a movie with um, the Saturday Night Fever guy there. John, John Travolta. Travolta, there we go. And John Travolta, it was called Michael. And uh, this was one of the songs that was featured in that. Uh, it's also a, a request song. Uh, please uh, send your requests along uh, via YouTube or via uh, Facebook uh, when you share this. Uh, this song here was requested by Connie's daughter, Jillian. So I imagine there will be tears. <laughs> There's tears when we normally do our regular ones too. So. <laughs> Hope you like it. It's a song called Feels Like Home. <clears throat>
featured in many, many movies, um, and it's a song that we've actually been doing for a number of years. It's a song that was written by a gentleman by the name of Pete St. John, and uh, interesting story, as you know, uh, we're coming to you from the set of the Beer Machine Kitchen Party here at Saltwater Sounds. Well, when the Saltwater Sounds is uh, open during the day, um, <coughs> music is playing inside and outside in one day. Oh, this would be about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. A gentleman came in. Uh, he was from Jamaica, actually. And uh, what brought him in is that there was a song. Oh, oh no, he, 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 was, he was looking for music. And he was a, a visitor, they said. And he says, I, my brother-in-law is a, a songwriter, and I'm wondering if you have anything here, you know, that might, uh, of his. And I said, well, who, who is your brother-in-law? Well, his name is uh, Pete St. John. And I said, uh... Fields, Fields of Athen Rye, Pete St. John? <clears throat> yeah, that's one of the songs that he had written. Do you have that recording here? Now, I, we have many, many, many versions of, of Fields of Athen Rye here in the store on CD. Connie and I also recorded that song. <laughs> so immediately I'm thinking, uh, should I be self-serving and play him my hours? Or should I, you know, be humble and play him someone else's? Unfortunately, I wasn't humble, <laughs> so uh, I played him hours. In the meantime, his wife, Pete St. John's sister, is at the store next door to me, which happens to be the great Canadian dollar store, buying something, and when she walks out, the music that's playing, that's filling the street, is our version of her brother's song. <laughs> and so she came in, had a great chat with them, and um, actually they wanted to buy a copy of the CD, but I gave it to, CD, but I gave it to them. And uh, they were going to give two copies, actually, and uh, they were going to take one copy and give it to Pete St. John. So, pretty cool. So, this is The Fields of Athen Rye. It was featured, like I said, in many, many movies, but one in particular uh, was um, a, uh, uh, an absolutely fantastic movie starring Robin, Robin Williams. Uh, it's called Dead Poets Society. As a matter of fact, it garnered a whole bunch of Academy Award nominations, including one for Robin Williams. So, here's our version of The Fields of Athen Rye. Oh 
of Athens bright By lonely prison wall I heard a young man calling Nothing matters, Mary, when you're free Against the famine and the ground That was for Bill. I hope you like that one, Bill, and thanks for your request. Keep your requests coming, by the way, uh, in uh, either in the comments on Facebook or the comments on um, on YouTube. Make sure that you uh, you also uh, share these videos. Um, oh, by the way, for the guitarists, I've bought I brought uh, the uh, Craig with me tonight, and um, or this afternoon, I guess I should say, and the. Um, it's a great finger picking guitar and has uh, a lot of sustain on it, which really makes it cool. Uh, a cool uh, situation for finger picking. There we go. Quit down tuning into drop D. <clears throat> the um, those of you who know me uh, know that um, when it comes to listening to music and actually when it comes to playing music as well, um, country music is not my first choice uh, when it comes to that. Uh, but saying that. Um, and, and I remember when we were panning in pubs all over the place, and you know there would be requests all the time. People want us to do country music, and sorry, it we'll just wasn't our shtick. That's not what we were uh, we were into. But <clears throat> I've always been a fan of a great song, no matter what style it is, and and um, the um, it, it, particularly particularly if a song can have, you know, uh, uh, just well. If, if a song speaks to you in a certain way, um, to me, that's a sign of a good song. Mm -hmm. And and this next one that they're, what we're going to do is exactly that kind of song. 
it, I, I don't know why, but it's, it, no pun intended, but it struck a really serious chord with me when I first heard it. It's actually featured in a Clint Eastwood movie, and no, we're not going to, yeah, it, no, we're going to do the spaghetti western <laughs> stuff, that's not where I'm going. This was, uh, actually, I believe it was the last movie that he made. Uh, it's a movie called The Mule. If you haven't seen it, it's a great movie, oh, you should see yeah, it. Awesome. It's really, really awesome movie. And there's a song at the end of it. And, and as soon as I heard it, I was watching it. Um, I was watching it on a streaming service, and, and uh, first three lines, four lines of the song, I was already on iTunes purchasing the song because it was, it just was, to me, it, it was a, a quintessential uh, a story song and, and, and a feeling song for me. Um, that was about a year and a half ago, and I toyed with it and toyed with it and toyed with it and, and you know, tried to find a new arrangement for it because, as again, as you know, we've mentioned this in a number of times that we like to put new arrangements to things. But this was one of those songs that you just can't do any other kind of arrangement other than the one that was written mm -hmm. because the original is so good. And um, the other thing about this song is that it has, for a lot of people, I think it has a dual meaning. <laughs> And uh, you can decide for yourself when you listen to the lyrics. Connie and I have just, I've talked about it a lot. Yeah. Uh, the song is called Don't Let the Old Man In. And uh, believe, believe it or not. And that's the, the other sign of a good song, is that you, know, you can put your own... The ambiguity of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you can put your own meaning to it. Yeah, and... and uh, <coughs> of course, we, did, we disagreed on the meaning, but... Uh, exactly. <laughs> so you can decide yourself, <coughs> uh, listen to these lyrics. Um, believe it or not, this is a song by Mr. Toby Keith. Mm. And uh, again, it's one of those songs that just uh, it struck a struck a personal chord with me. I don't know why, but it did. So here it is. Don't let the old man in. I want to live me some more. Don't leave it up to him He's knocking on my door I knew all of my life That someday it would end Get up and go outside Don't let the old man in Many moons I have my body's weathered and worn Ask yourself how old would you be If you didn't know the day you were born Try to love on your wife And stay close to your friends Toast each sundown with wine another one of our concerts from the kitchen to the close. Uh, again, please share this video uh, on Facebook. Tag your friends. Uh, send us your uh, requests. We'd love to hear them. And uh, if we know them, we'll try to do them. We'll even learn a few if we have to. 
uh, we uh, we really really like to to do your request. Sing along with us if you know some of the songs too. And if you want to send us some sing along songs, we'll gladly do that. In the meantime, we want to uh, hope that you'll be safe for another week. Uh, we're still in the COVID-19 pandemic, so wash your hands, social distancing, put the masks on if you uh, if you're in public and you can't social distance. It's really really important to do that. We've got to stop the spread of this, and uh, we're doing. We're doing pretty good here in New Brunswick and, and in Atlantic Canada in general, and hopefully the rest of the country will follow us. In the meantime, we are uh, Connie and Paul. We're coming to you live from the set of the Mirror Machine Kitchen Party here at Saltwater Sounds. You folks have a great, great weekend, and we will see you in just a few days. Love you, Jill. Love you, Jeff.